Hi everybody, my name is Raj Singh and I'm a product manager for the Inner Systems Iris Data Platform. I'm here to show you our latest IDE, the object script extension for Visual Studio Code. Okay, so let's get going. First of all, once you have Visual Studio Code installed, you'll want to click here on the extensions tab, search for Inner Systems, and find Inner Systems Object Script. Your button here will say Install instead of Uninstall. So click that and also accept to install the Inner System Server Manager and the Language Server. Those will be very useful. Okay, so once that's done, we're going to want to set up user preferences. User preferences are sort of global preferences that cross any projects you may be working on. And it makes sense to have all your servers defined there. So I'm going to go into my VS Code settings, make sure this Users tab is selected, click this handy dandy button here to get to the JSON. So what I want here is a section called InnerSystems.Servers. Start typing that, hit Tab, it'll fill in some defaults. I like the default iris settings, but I'm going to give it a different name because I want to remember it refers to my Docker installation. And I'm not going to need an ensemble or cache setting, so I'm just going to delete those. So a server has a name and it has web server properties, scheme, host, and port, and it has a description and optionally a username. I like to put my username in here so I don't have to repeat it all the time. So now we're good to go on sort of global settings. I still don't know all the information to connect to my server because I don't have a namespace, but we'll do that on a project level. Okay, now that my settings are done, we're going to work on some code which is managed out of GitHub. So I'm going to find my GitHub repository here. Copy the URL to that. And I'm going to clone that repository. Just put it anywhere for now because this is a demo. I'm going to open that. Now we're almost ready to get going. Now I need to connect this project to an inner system server and the namespace I want to work on. So I'm going to click over here on the object script tab and click the button to choose server and namespace. I'm going to choose that Docker Iris server, user namespace, and now I'm ready to go. I'm connected. So clicking back here, back to the Explorer, I'm going to look at my code here for this project, and I have some front end code, which is really all JavaScript. I'm using a framework called Vue here. That doesn't go into my Iris server. But I also have a services CLS directory, which actually has all my code. So I'm going to right click on this ICO package name and import and compile to my server. Now, just so you know it happened, let me bring up the output window and switch over here to my object script extension. And you'll see that the compilation worked smoothly. You can also verify that by clicking over here Object Script Explorer will also show your code. But when you're working, you're going to work back here in the regular Explorer. VS Code's built in Explorer. OK, now let's do some actual programming and see how great this environment is to work in. So I'll open up a class file here, and you'll see in the VS Code outline view, you get access to all your methods very simply and easily, just like for any other language. 
Uh, let's go to one of these class methods. So we have percent string here. We have host of inline documentation. Everything that you see online or in our previous IDE is available as well. Also, here's a user defined variable, ico.catalog. Actually, that's a user defined uh, class. We have inline documentation for that as well because it came right from this catalog class. Okay, how about code completion? Host a built-in code completion option as well. Say I want to add a new class method, I'll start typing CLM. Let me just give it a quick name, add a variable. Library dot decimal tab over and I'll just hit save and there we go. Even more complex options are available. Start typing SQL. We automatically have a query statement and an iterator right there. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. This IDE has a lot of great features right out of the box. I think you'll be very happy with it. And so please go try it out and enjoy.